Planetology rejects our Mako-consuming society. And now, we have the... I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Is a given.
Fear clouds your judgment. Feel the energy. At our very core, we are connected. We need only open our hearts to the planet. You're interested in learning more about planetology? downplay the planet sparrow but if they saw the folks around here they'll wonder if it ain't too late to recruit them to avalanche you can't talk like that at least not quite right all you need to do is follow its guidance since time in the these sacred lands my precious material where are you no need to be shy come out Yuffie's going to take you home. With the practice of mindful breathing, we can tap you. Tell me, teachings of planetology to others? of the planet upon disciples of her through these seminar participation without one i'm afraid you can seminars in progress all the time i've spent here This is unreal. Wonders, I want to believe. I'm looking for spots with a spiritual feel, if you know any. Not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. Those who have the key, as well as fellow Bugenhagen's permission, are allowed inside. Only those who have the key, as well as fellow Bugenhagen's permission, are allowed inside. If we've anything to fear, it is not our fellow man, nor any creature, big or small, with whom we share our home. 
Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> my monkey here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Mamaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. Professor Gas to thank for a full half of the research materials archived here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. It's like you're singing to me. Cross my heart. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. Nanaki never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. Recognize that little scamp. I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. Oh, they are essential to my studies of the planet. 
Rat is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Hmm, though I suspect it can't detect much now. Anarchy never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. Oh, oh, oh. You won't find a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them with our own eyes. Two in the Corral and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> a fascinating account. Were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. <laughs> 